This is Twit. Let's go to Michael in Shelby Township, which is in Michigan, a beautiful place in the country. What can I do for you, uh, Michael? Let me be brief in asking my question. Um, since the recent release of iOS 8, there has been an explosion of third-party keyboards yes. in the App Store. Yes. In regards to that, there's a lot of people concerned, myself as well, for security purposes. Yeah, so, uh, you know, okay, I'll talk about it. This is a good question, and, uh, and actually Apple shares your concern. To my intense annoyance, uh, when I switch to a password entry field, it switches back to the Apple keyboard. One of the reasons I stopped using an iPhone is I consider mm -hmm. Apple's keyboard substandard. Uh, the Android keyboards have taken great strides. And the one I use both on Android and on Apple is SwiftKey. It's probably the number one keyboard, third-party keyboard for Apple already. Uh, there are other choices like Flexi or FlexKey, whatever it's called. Swipe is very, very popular. But, but, but SwiftKey is free, and I would start with SwiftKey. SwiftKey has a couple of features that, in my opinion, make a huge difference. Uh, number one is it has, a, 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 I guess the, for lack of a better word, a, a swiping. So instead of tapping the letters, T-H-E-D-O-G, you move your finger without lifting it from the screen, from T-H-E to space to D-O-G, and the keyboard magically knows what you're typing. It's, it's a, in my opinion, a much more accurate way and certainly a lot faster way uh, to type on a keyboard. So that simply by itself argues, uh, I think, for that for a third-party keyboard on the iPhone. It, I, I also think that the for I, I have never understood why Apple, to this day, on their keyboard, it's always uppercase. Whatever you're typing doesn't matter. The key caps are always uppercase, and I find that confusing. And there's no... Re, every keyboard in the world, including all the third-party keyboards for iOS, will, when you're in lowercase, show a lowercase letter. It is a computer. We can change this now. And when you're in uppercase, it's an uppercase. Now, your concern, though, is... And Apple warns you, in fact, I think they're really scaring people, to, to Google's, to Google's uh, uh, account, they also warn you that any keyboard mm -hmm. can capture your keystrokes and send it back to the home office. That's correct. Apple. Yes. By the way, so can Apple's, but the only home office it can send it to is Apple. Right. But so Apple, so it's a little disingenuous because, I've, I mean, okay, well, we trust ourselves. Well, do I trust you? I guess I have to. And that's the key. When you use software... You have to trust it because it's not just the keyboard. Any program on that phone could send all sorts of stuff back to the home office. That's Absolutely. the nature of software. They're black boxes. And when you're using a device that's always connected to the Internet, anything's possible. So there is a huge amount of trust when you use software, period. That's well, always the case. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, you know, the reason why I ask this question is because this has, has exploded all over the forums. Yeah, I mean, well, it's um, yeah. Well, I'm trying to talk people down off the ledge. First of all, mm -hmm. I don't know if I could trust SwiftKey. I've trusted them for years. The real risk would be, of course, they can capture logins and passwords, and Correct. people are worried that the it, any any th any keyboard, including by the way, the keyboard on your computer, can be a keystroke logger. Uh, sure. That's absolutely true. And so you so so can Apple's, and you've been trusting Apple's all this time. Apple still, and this really bothers me because I frankly find this even more uh, more of an offensive user interface problem. Apple will switch keyboards when you enter passwords. Well, you trust us, so we're going to use our keyboard, even though you've chosen and accepted another keyboard. I find that offensive, and it's and and in by the way, extremely confusing. And the times that I need a better keyboard, precisely when I'm typing passwords, because I use a mix of upper and lowercase letters. And it's very easy to lose track of where you are on the Apple keyboard. And sure. that's one of the reasons I left iPhone in the first place. So I've been using SwiftKey on Android. So far, to my knowledge, they've never stolen my password. I know the guys who do SwiftKey. You can trust well, that's, them. Well, that's the whole thing. Right you can there, trust you know, that's, them. That's why I wanted to ask these questions, because the three, the three and, 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 you know, I'm considering would be SwiftKey, would be Swipe, and would be Flex, FlexKey. Thing is... I would go with SwiftKey. Well, SwiftKey has been known, though to, you know, take this data and collect this data. And All right, well, I give up then. Don't go use Apple's keyboard. You know what? If that's what people want, use Apple's keyboard. Nobody's making you use a third-party keyboard. 
SwiftKey has been known to take people's data. Where I don't even know where to start on that. SwiftKey has a feature, and I turn it on, that allows them access to your email, your Facebook, your tweets, and other stuff so that they can learn your typing style, learn a dictionary of words that you use frequently. I find that useful. If you don't, and you, and you like the crap keyboard that Apple has foisted upon us, please, by all means, use it. You, of course, are now trusting Apple. Oh, and by the way, all of those things are sent over the Internet. You're trusting your phone company. You're trusting any Internet servers along the way. And you're tr ultimately trusting the company you give your password to. Like, let's say, oh, I don't know, Home Depot and Target. We live in a... Civilization is based on trust. You trust that the driver coming the other direction down the street will not at the last moment turn his wheel and plow his two-ton vehicle straight into your face every minute you drive. If you are an untrusting person, you should go live in a cabin in the woods and hope the bears don't eat you because we have to trust. Every bit of software that you use can be malicious and take advantage of you. It's, it's the nature of software. They're all black boxes, not just the keyboards. They're all black boxes. And I kind of think Apple is, I guess they feel that they have to put this big warning. Well, you know, this company could be collecting all this data that you're giving them access to. And, and, and Android does the same thing. Be careful using these third-party keyboards. I trust them. Don't worry about it. Leo Laporte, the tech guy.